Hey guys, it's me, Darling Doll 13 Thank you for watching my channel. If you would like to see how I got this look, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be prepping my eyelids with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in color neutral. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my Berry Essentials Max Coverage Concealer brush to buff it out. Now using a foundation brush, I'll be applying my high definition powder all over my eyelids to prevent any creasing. Now using Morphe's G14 brush from their Gunmetal Collection, I will be applying this light pink eyeshadow from Morphe's 35S palette all over my eyelid. Using the same brush as before, I'll be going back to the same eyeshadow palette to use this medium purple eyeshadow on my eyelid. Now using a clean brush, I'm just going to be swiping it all over my lid just to prevent any harsh lines. Now using Morphe's G17 brush, I will be applying this dark purple eyeshadow to my crease. Notice how I start from the outside of my crease and I work my way into the crease. The secret to getting a flawless look is to blend, blend, blend. You must blend all the way in. Now I'm going back in circular motions and I am just buffing in the purple eyeshadow towards my brow bone. Now with a clean brush, I'm just going to go over that section. I'm just going to be blending any harsh lines I may have caused. Next, I'm going to be using Morphe's G27 brush to be applying this plum eyeshadow on the outer V of my eyelid. Now I'm going back in with the G17 brush to apply some more dark purple eyeshadow on my crease. And I'm just going to be blending it in. Using my G27 brush, I'm just going to take that plum eyeshadow and I'm just going to be applying it under my waterline.
now using Morphe's G19 brush, I'll be applying this shimmery light purple eyeshadow to my tear duct. Next, I'm going to be applying my foundation. I am using Laura Mercier foundation in color Maple, which has medium with warm undertones. Now using my Morphe G6 buffer, I'm going to be buffing in my foundation into my skin just to give us that flawless look. Now to lighten up my eye area, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in color Neutralizer. And to bluff it out, I'm going to be using my Max Coverage Concealer Brush. Since I got lazy, I decided to get my Morphe G6 buffer brush and all I'm doing is just buffing it into my skin and blending it out towards my temple just to get that uplift look on my eyes. To prevent any creasing under my eyes, I'm setting my eyes with a high definition powder by e.l.f. in translucent color. Using my Luxie 504 large angle brush, I'm going to be contouring my cheekbone with Blunt by MAC. As you can see, all I'm doing is just blending it in towards my ear and making sure that it's just, you know, blending out evenly. Now what I'm going to be doing is contouring under my jawline just to get that defined look. I'm also going to be contouring my forehead and my uh, temples just to bring the hairline down. Next, I'm using my Morphe G4 brush to apply my blush that I received in my Ipsy bag this month. The color of the blush I'm using is Cosmopolitan. All I'm going to be doing is applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending it towards my ear. Next, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. angle brush to apply my NYX illuminator in color Enigmatic. Next, I'm going to be highlighting my cupid's bow just to make my lips look a little bit bigger. I'm also going to be highlighting the bridge of my nose as well. And of course, I'm also going to be highlighting under my lip area. Now moving on to my eyebrows. I'm going to be using my Morphe M160 brush to be applying my Anastasia Dip Brow and Pomade Auburn. And what I'm going to be doing is starting from the inner of my eyebrow, working my way up to my arch and then bringing it back down. Once I do that, I'm going to start blending it in to get that finished look.
Now using a spoolie, I'm just going to comb over my eyebrows to make sure that everything's set. And I'm also going to go in with a light brown eyeshadow from Revlon just to set that pomade. Next, I'm going to be working on my lips. I'm going to be using my Avon Color Trend Lip Liner in color chocolate. And all I'm going to be doing is just outlining my lips. Next, I'm going to be applying my Wet n Wild Lipstick in color Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. I really love the way this lipstick looks on me. Uh, I thought it was a little bit too bright for this look. So I went ahead and got another lipstick from One Wild, which is Black Orchard. And I just kind of dabbed it on my lips just to give it a little darker look. Okay guys, this is the final look. Um, just to let you know, I did add some eyeliner to my waterline. And for that, I used Urban Decay's Perversion Eyeliner. It is the darkest eyeliner ever. Um, if you like, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at DarlingDoll13. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos, guys. Bye!